Hello, Earthlings. Welcome back to another episode from The Cloud Boss. Today we'll be discussing one of the most fascinating concepts in science fiction, the warp drive. For decades, we have been mesmerized by the idea of traveling through the vastness of space in the blink of an eye. But is it really possible? Would you like to know what this groundbreaking warp drive is all about? Then ensure you watch this video all the way to the end. But before we get started, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and a subscription so you stay up to date with our latest videos. Do you have any idea how we might can accelerate spaceships to the speed of light? Post your comments below and let's find out what our great scientists of the past have theorized. Firstly, let's understand what warp drive is. Warp drive is a theoretical concept of a propulsion system that could potentially allow faster than light travel. It was first introduced by the science fiction writer, Gene Roddenberry, in the Star Trek series. The idea behind warp drive is to create a bubble of space-time around the spaceship, which would move through space-time rather than moving through space itself. This would enable the ship to travel faster than the speed of light without violating the laws of physics. But is this just a sci-fi fantasy or is there any scientific basis to it? In fact, there is. In the early 1990s, a physicist named Miguel Alcubierre proposed a theoretical framework for a warp drive that could theoretically work within the constraints of the laws of physics. Alcubierre's concept is based on the idea of expanding space behind the spaceship and contracting space in front of it. This would allow the ship to move through space without violating the laws of physics, as it would not technically be moving faster than the speed of light. Instead, the space around the ship would be moving. So, how would this actually work? Alcubierre proposed that the ship would create a bubble of space-time around it, which would warp the space-time fabric around it. This would expand the space behind the ship and contract the space in front of it, creating a space-time wave that would move the ship along. The ship itself would be stationary within this bubble, and only the space-time around it would be moving. This would allow the ship to travel at speeds faster than the speed of light, without violating any physical laws. However, there are still many challenges to be overcome before we can make warp drive a reality. One of the biggest challenges is energy. The amount of energy required to create a space-time bubble large enough to hold a spaceship is enormous. In fact, it is currently beyond our technological capabilities. To create a warp drive, we would need to find a way to harness an enormous amount of energy and channel it into the creation of the space-time bubble. Another challenge is the fact that we don't yet fully understand the nature of space-time. Although we have a basic understanding of how it works, there is still much that we don't know. In order to create a warp drive, we would need to have a much deeper understanding of space-time and how it can be manipulated. Despite these challenges, there are many researchers who are working on developing a warp drive. In fact, NASA's EagleWorks laboratories have been working on developing a warp drive for several years now. Although their research is still in its early stages, they have already made some significant progress. They have managed to create a small-scale version of a space-time bubble in their laboratory, which is a promising first step. There are also other concepts being explored that could potentially lead to FTL travel. One such concept is the idea of a wormhole. A wormhole, also known as an Einstein-Rosen bridge, is a theoretical concept in physics that suggests the possibility of a shortcut or a tunnel through space-time. It is a hypothetical connection between two distant points in space-time that could potentially allow for faster-than-light travel or the possibility of time travel. In theory, a wormhole could be created by bending the fabric of space-time in such a way that two distant points are brought together, allowing travel between them in a shorter amount of time than it would take to travel through normal space. However, the existence of wormholes is purely speculative and has not been observed or proven to exist in reality. Furthermore, even if wormholes were to exist, they would likely be unstable and potentially dangerous due to the extreme forces and energies involved. 
Nonetheless, the concept of wormholes remains an intriguing topic of study and speculation in the field of physics and science fiction. If we had working warp drives, it would revolutionize space travel as we know it. Some of the potential implications of working warp drives could include faster interstellar travel. With a working warp drive, we could travel much faster than we currently can, opening up the possibility of exploring far-off destinations in space that would otherwise be unreachable. Colonization of other worlds. With faster interstellar travel, we could more easily establish colonies on other planets or moons, and even explore the potential for terraforming them to make them more hospitable to human life. Exploration of the universe. With faster travel, we could explore further into the universe than ever before, potentially discovering new planets, stars, and even galaxies that were previously unknown. New technologies. The development of a working warp drive would likely require new technologies and advancements in physics that could have numerous other applications in fields such as energy, computing, and material science. While warp drive may seem like a far-off dream, it is important to remember that many of the technological marvels that we take for granted today were once nothing more than science fiction. Who knows? However, these proposals are still in the realm of speculation and have not yet been proven feasible. According to our current understanding of physics, there is no device that can travel faster than the speed of light in a vacuum. This is due to the fundamental laws of the universe, including the theory of relativity, which states that the speed of light is a fundamental constant that cannot be exceeded by any object or information. It's important to note that while there may not be any devices that can travel faster than the speed of light, there are other phenomena that can appear to exceed this limit. For example, certain subatomic particles called tachyons are theorized to have imaginary mass and always travel faster than light. However, tachyons have not yet been observed in experiments, and their existence is still hypothetical. With all that been said, what do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. You have made it to the end of the video. If we kept you engaged, please to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to The Cloud Boss so you never missed another thrilling episode. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.